Hello everyone, I'm Daniel and we're back for the second to last, hopefully second to last scenario of our campaign play along. We have Tony and Diana going through with this limited card pool. So take a look at the upgrades here on your screen. Uh, for Tony, we just have a simple addition of charisma. I think we have enough allies in the deck to make it worth it. Hopefully we see them. Um, and, uh, the chronophobia from last time, I think is actually very helpful that we have the smoking pipe still here. I've been trying to get rid of this the entire campaign, but this seems like it'll work out for Diana, a very simple change. We added another copy of Eldritch inspiration, got rid of a delve too deep that we don't need anymore. And then a second copy of emergency cash. This one is the upgraded one though, that draws a card and that's a change for her unexpected courage. So. Um, I think this is a, a nice, I mean, just three XP, right? So I think this is a, a nice way to continue how these decks have been doing. I have done all the setup already. There wasn't a whole lot, honestly. It was just, um, well, putting a couple doom onto the, the counter and uh, adding a minus five token that's now there. So by the way, let's take a look at um, our token effects. Skulls, we have two of them, minus one, or maybe it's minus three later. Uh, cultists, there's one of them, kind of rough. And then a tablet, which is minus two, but a minus four later. Let's do our opening hands and hopefully get something that we want. Um, over here for Tony, we're looking for money. We're looking for guns. We found a gun. We found eh, some amount of money. I think I'm actually going to, hmm, I don't think I have enough money for that. Let's go ahead and let's put our mulligan cards there so we don't forget try to get a hot streak or something or mm, this is not a great opening hand at all but maybe we'll draw our way out of that okay dino looking for cancels zebulon we have not seen him yet um interesting i'm interested i don't think the safeguard is necessary in this scenario i don't know about that either i don't think we need all of these cancels i think i can I can stand to hold on to Zebulon, although I'd really like Warren Rice instead. Let's pick another three cards. I'm not happy about that, <laughs> but, but we do have a lot of time in this scenario. Look at this, 12, 12 Doom on the agenda to advance. We need four clues. Um, so this one actually starts with three clues here, but you don't really get them the normal way. You don't it doesn't count towards the, those four. If you get a clue, then you put in the random set aside uh, diverging paths. And then we need to get the four clues in order to reveal this, and then another four up here. So, uh, I mean, this is something. We might get an enemy or two from, from Hunted. But, oh boy, this is not great. We're going to draw ourselves out of this, I think. Um, so I think that Diana is going to go first and play the emergency cash, drawing her card. All right, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. I don't know how quickly we, we rush this, because again, we don't have a whole lot going on. We do play Zebulon. The Drawn in the Flame is very interesting. I feel like we need to cancel something else first. Or like get a ward. We have this. I think I draw one more card. Uh, okay, that's, that's pretty good. So we played the Emergency Cash, we played Zebulon, and we drew a card. Okay, we'll get some money, <laughs> seven apiece. Um, we play the Derringer. And then our last action, we can get more money. This is never bad. I think we just, we just play the cards we have. And that is so much for Diana. All right, let's see what we get in upkeep. Uh, Francis Morgan, okay. And an Arcane Initiate, that's actually pretty good too. Hmm. I'm gonna take our time a bit here. We have time. All right, first thing we do is we find an enemy. Oh, hello. 
Okay, so Diana draws this and it spawns up there. We'll put the bounty on it. All right. I mean, that's just the way that goes. Uh, we put a doom and we are going to take an encounter card. Another thing to kill. This one does spawn here. All right, we are going to put a bounty on this guy. So this guy we need to kill, otherwise he runs away and we lose two rounds. So I don't think we're going to get the clues off the evidence. I don't think I want to hold on to that because it is important. Mm, beyond the veil. Is this worth a cancel right now? I think it is. It's all the effects. I think we go ahead and put this right back in. We spend two resources. We gain a resource, gain a card. Okay. Okay. Part of me wants to play Francis Morgan first. So I will. We'll take Attack of Opportunity. Play this guy for three resources, getting me down to four. And then we'll take a shot at the Derringer. Eight to three. Minus two. That is six to three. That succeeds by three, so we get another action. And we do deal two damage. Okay. I think we punch with eight to three. Minus one. All right. We kill this guy. We get a resource. We get a card. We get a card. Okay, two more actions. I gotta wait here for Lupine Thrall. Got a lot of damage soak. I think we draw one more. Uh, hello, I. We can play you. This is the upgraded Lucky Cigarette Case. Hi. And that's our turn. Okay, we played a card. We fought, we fought, we drew a card, and we played another card. Seems good. Okay, over here, seriously thinking about the Strawn of the Flame. I think we put the Arcane Initiate out first. And maybe we can draw a spell? We don't. Then we play Drawn to the Flame? I think we do. I think we do. Oppressive Mists. Okay. It's a little... A little stinky. You succeed on Treachery card. Exhaust Rock card. Although it is kind of a, a, a little engine for Diana here. We do need to get rid of this thing. Alright, so we get two clues, but really we just put in two random diverging paths. Uh, we need to remove two from at the beginning of the game. Forgot about that. Uh, yeah, so we'll just take two out from each of these. <clears throat> Put them all the way over there. Okay, so we get two of these into play. Put one there. Put one there. And sometimes these things get you for having actions left. And sometimes they get you for not having actions left. I think it's actually the ones up here that, that do that. So we're going to leave, even though this is maybe a, a draw engine. <laughs> yeah, all right. Good job. You got me. Um, we're going to take the two right onto us because we want to have something to heal should we draw a Fearless. Okay. We go to Upkeep. So for Tony, he's going to draw a card and then test two to three. Yeah, minus five will do it. Um, we are going to discard. I don't actually want to discard this. I think we get rid of the perception. We're going to kill this. Uh, Lupine Thrall also moves. 
Okay, and then over here, we get a safeguard. All right. That's an abomination. Um, okay, we'll be taking some horror. That's okay. We kind of plan on that. Uh, can't do anything about this one. Slightly annoying. So this one, we remove the clues and then go right back to Sentinel Hill. Okay. Well, so we move the clues and we shuffle these and we... I'm sorry, that's not how it works. We just put it back. Okay, the way I'm going to make that work is uh, we're going to look at what this was. Okay, and I'm going to shuffle that back into uh, this since we don't know what it is. And I was hoping just to draw the one that we knew what it was. So there's a chance it's here, but I guess really what I should do is shuffle all these again because I knew that was one of the possibilities. Remove two and then one more. Wait, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. This should do exactly what I did before. Okay. But now I still don't know what it was. Um, we go back here and now this is here. We can still go to them. I just got a little confused. Sorry about that. Okay. We do need to dump this. Okay, I think that's going to have to be Tony, just because we're going to take a horror, we probably play the smoking pipe, and get rid of this. I think that's just, just the way. Let's see if we find a spell over here. Yeah. Okay. So now we just go. We'll go over here again. Okay, I do have actions remaining. What I don't have is a good way to get clues. I think we can just throw out this perception and see what happens. We have five to two. <sighs> Stinks. Um, I was going to use this on the next one, which is what I suppose I'm going to do. Um, so we use the Dark Prophecy. We're fishing for a minus one and that's not great well we still do it i think we, we try to investigate again up one looking for a skull that was a mistake okay we do cancel something and get our resource back but we potentially could have gotten Two clues there, if I had done that correctly. At least one. All right, that's the turn. Uh, Lupine Thrall comes here, and we get hit for two horror and one damage. We will use the Smoking Pipe now uh, and heal one of those and put it over onto Francis Morgan. Okay. Um, upkeep. Another weapon's good. Another Drone of the Flame might just be the answer here. Uh, six. Diva T of the Key. Oh my god. Okay, we might be able to get... We don't have the two clues here anymore. Okay, well, it is what it is. Altered Beast. Um, we can let this one ride. There's no damage on it. And it's just going to die anyway. All right, look for some spells again. We're looking for a right of seeking. We found an ineffable truth. Not the world's most helpful thing right now. 
So I'm thinking I draw into the flame and then move twice, but we want Tony to go first then. Okay, we gotta kill this guy. So we use the Derringer. Uh, we probably throw the quick thinking out on this as well. Oh, shoot, we need to kill both of them. We might be able to. Okay, so that gets me to nine on four. Nine on four. That is a minus two, seven to four, succeed by three. Mm. We could take this. So that's two damage. And that is two extra actions, which might be necessary. In fact, I probably shouldn't have put the, the bounty on here. Although I'll get a resource out of it. That's not that bad. Okay. Uh, then we go six to four with nothing to commit. That's not great. I don't think I want to use the Derringer on this. Hmm. Well, we'll just get lucky. Yes. Six to four. Die, die. Thank you. All right. Uh, I've got four remaining actions here to deal with this guy, which I think I can do. Um, we could take an attack opportunity to put down the Mauser. No, I think we just fire at the Derringer and we'll be replacing it. Okay. Um, eight. Minus two. Okay, that's two damage. We don't get another action out of that. Uh, so three fights. Got one more. Six on three. Fail, but that's okay. Another one. Sorry. Fight, fight, fight. The failure. This is another one. Another failure. Okay, this time six on three is a bit tough. Uh, we have to go for it. Okay, thank goodness. At least that one didn't have retaliate. Okay, next round we'll have to play some guns. Uh, we do draw a card off of Francis Morgan. Okay. I don't think I want to play the evidence. Doesn't do enough for me at the moment. All right, we will draw into the flame. Give me an encounter card. Vortex of Time. Ouch. Sorry, um, we could cancel that. We did draw it. We're only canceling the revelation effect. I think we cancel this because... Well, no, we can take the, the damage. It's okay. Okay. Give me those two clues. Um, move, move. It's the doom one. We might have to eat the doom here. All right. After you reveal this location, place one... Uh, per player, Doom on it. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, we won't do. That's going to be pretty tough unless we get any of our allies that get us something for that. So let's find out if we do. We also need to get this last clue. Robes, not helpful. 9 out of 12. We might give up on this location. We might need to. Uh, another lupine thrall. Uh, this goes to Tony. Come on, Rite of Seeking. Nope. And it's funny because we have so many resources, but nothing really to spend them on you over here all right um i don't think i need to waste a bounty on this guy no, i sort of do i sort of do well i think i do okay punch minus two punch Minus one, 
this guy dies. We draw a card, a hot streak. Okay. So we play that for seven resources. So that gets me up to 13. And then we play a Mauser for three. And then next turn, hopefully we can play the contraband. I should have used the cigarette case here. Um, last one was a minus one. So I would draw um, minus ones. I was at six to two, so I succeed by three. Uh, I suppose I would have drawn the glory, <laughs> uh, which would have been one of those top cards. Okay. Now what? Diana needs to take a turn somehow. Not somehow, but get something out of that. Hmm. We might just give up on it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think we want to play the Twilight Blade. And then move here. And play the robes. I think that's where we're at. Alani is going to be really nice. Uh, Alyssa is kind of what I wanted a long time ago, but I kind of forgot that we're, we're here. I don't think we've taken a single willpower test, though. Um, 10 out of 12. We will remove you from play, I think, if we can. Um, interesting. Flip each non central hill location in play to its unrevealed side, removing all clues from it. But not all doom. I'm going to look this up real quick. There is a, an answer on this that you do not remove doom. It doesn't say to remove doom, so we're not going to remove the doom. Um, this does do this, though. So I do know which one is which because of the doom, but uh, that's okay. Um, we can cancel this. So it doesn't remove the doom though. So uh, we still are gonna... We still are gonna take our here. We do this, we draw a card. All right. I think we're still just going to eat the Doom. Tony needs to worry about this. We Diana goes here, gets those clues again using... Using Alyssa? I think it was a Shroud of Two, right? We could do that. Uh... It was you could take horror if there were no actions remaining, right? So we move here. All right. We play Alyssa. And that removes the Arcane Initiate from play. And then we investigate at four. And we get a clue. Alright. Maybe we do have some life in us yet. Maybe we do. Alright, we play Lonnie. We play a contraband and we double up on this Mauser. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that should be enough, I think. Uh, we would like to put the like the damage somewhere, like on a uh, on a coat. But we don't have one of those yet. Uh, last action draw. Another contraband. Okay, we're going to get hit for a damage and a horror. That's okay. Both of them are going to go on to Lonnie Ritter. And then we go to upkeep. Finally, a spell. Uh, 10 out of 12. We're just advancing early. That's. I think that'll be okay. A need for knowledge. We have no clues. So let's look in search. 
Uh, Beyond the Veil. Well, we have Beyond the Veil. And Oppressive Mist. That's totally fine. Okay. So who goes first? I think it is Diana. We want this to pass. We're at four to two. I think we play the Dark Prophecy here. Good. We take the minus two. Um, we take a resource and a card back. And we get a clue. Right? <laughs> right? Um, we also should probably use Alyssa here just to take a look at what we're up against. Um, this is going to Tony. So that's sort of bad. So we're at 11. No, we're going to be at 11 next round. I think we have to leave it there and then just be prepared. Um, so we have all our clues. We spend them in advance. Remove all clues from each location in play. All right, no problem. Uh, reveal the ascending path. Another four shroud location. Another thing that has three clues on it. Okay. So, I mean, we we're just going to have to move up. Okay. Um, I took the investigate action. I can move twice. Or I put down safeguard. I don't think that makes any sense. Move, move. All right. We need to get Tony up here, though, because I think Diana will help with the test. I think that's how we'll have to do this. Okay. Uh, we have seven, eight, nine to four. Minus one. Okay. Ready the Mauser. Take a resource. Um, Sorry. Nine to... Nine to four. Minus one is eight to four. Succeed by four. I do still want to draw things. Okay. We'll take the hired muscle. That's two damage. Um, I think we can just punch at seven to four. Nope. Retaliate. Um, yeah. It's a bit unfortunate. Looking for the coat, honestly. Uh, we go again. That is not my favorite thing I've done in this game. We will take another damage and horror. Horror can go here. And the damage we'll just take again. Um, that's not great. But I don't want to spend anything else on this. So we'll go again one more time. And we do succeed. <sighs> okay. I really needed the move, but we don't have it. Upkeep. Um, that is just another Ancient Evils, I guess. Too bad I didn't... Well, there's no window, but too bad I didn't do that. So we now have 12. Maybe we reshuffle the deck. Yeah, we do. Okay, maybe we're safe. This tablet is minus uh, four now. Let's update that. All right. You know, we're taking a little bit of chances here. So reset everything. Thank you. All the doom goes away. And we take an avian thrall. Um, I mean, we're just stuck down here forever, I guess. Uh, nearest altered location. There aren't any. This is a victory point that we are not getting. But who cares? Okay. How dumb would it be to take an attack of opportunity just to get to a location so we can get the, the clues? Not that stupid, right? 
by the way. I mean, it's kind of stupid. But I have soak. I'm going to do it. We're going to move here. We're going to fight. We have a lot. We have nine to two. Minus four is five to two. So we will ready the gun. And do two damage. That's also succeeded by three. I think I'm going to hold off on that. And we go one more time at 9 to 2. At plus 1 is 10 to 2. Succeed by 8. Finding a leather jacket. Yes. And so I played. I, sorry, I moved. I fought. I fought. This guy dies. We take a resource. We play the evidence to remove two clues from here, getting two of these into play. Defeated an enemy, I will draw a card. Okay. I'll play the jacket. We'll use the smoking pipe to do this. We spend a resource to do this. And somehow I still have one more action. I'm not playing the glory. Um, I guess we can play the smoking pipe. Yep. And we can, we can just use it. Keep moving our damage, our horror off onto the, the coat. Okay. Not a bad turn. Diana has to go get clues, and this can happen as quickly as she would like. I think we play the clairvoyance for three, and then just go see what's up. I do have actions remaining. So we will spend them. We have two plus four is six. Uh, eight. Eight to three. We will take a horror and then we will heal two horror, getting us two clues. Okay, not bad. I'm a little worried about this popping, but that's okay. Treachery on me. Upkeep. Overpower. Okay, that's fine. One out of ten. Mm, that's totally okay. So this one is if you have no actions remaining. So we go here. Um, and then we'll just do this. Shuffle them together. We could do the same thing down here. I guess we could, but this is going to stick with it too. So that's the other way you know what it is. Uh, okay. That is a card, I guess. Inexplicable cold, we can just cancel this. There, there's no reason to not cancel this. So we will. We'll play the ward and take a horror. Okay. Go get some more clues. Maybe here. Maybe the same one. Uh, we do the same thing. Let's throw the guts at this, I guess. Um, so we've got two, five. Plus three is eight. Eight to three. Minus two is six to three. So we get two cards out of that. And we will take the two clues. We must immediately spend them. No, we don't immediately spend them. We can just go backwards. Move clue. Move. All right, we're almost done. I would love to get another victory point out here. We might play the delve, honestly. Um, Tony is could go up here. I know there's an enemy to fight.
All right, we spend the resource to heal and heal. I think we do it. I think we go. We spend the, the clues to advance, right? It's immediately when you enter Sentinel Peak. Yep. All right. We make it to the top. We find Seth Bishop and put uh, two damage on him already. All right, we can do that. Such a strange scenario. Got so body at the beginning. Uh, two damage. So he's got only uh, six. We just need to do four damage. I have no more bounty contracts. So we just have the two actions left. I think we can do that. Let's go ahead and spend an ammo. We have nine to five. Uh, we'd like to hit twice, huh? So let's go to 11, 11 to five. Minus three. Minus three is eight to five. Succeed by three. So we ready the thing. Yeah, this is a lot, right? I did the math correctly. Seven plus two is nine. 11, 11 minus three is eight. 60 by 3. Uh, we'll take the hot streak. That is going to draw me another card. And that gets me up to 4 damage. Uh, we go again. We'll toss the quick thinking out. This is 10. 10 to 5. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we don't get this, but we do kill Seth Bishop because that's all it was. I also forgot to turn this over. Okay, taking damage for Hexus. That's fine. That's my whole turn. Uh, we can draw another card. I think we should. I guess we can do that. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I guess while we're here, we might as well uh, during the enemy phase or something, turn that into that. Okay, upkeep. Eight cards. Uh, we will lose a an Alyssagram. We just need to get all these clues. Mm-hmm. Two more damage for both. Um, do I have anything to throw in this? I don't need this card. I'm not willing to throw that one out, but I probably don't need this. So we're going even. Even. No. Nope. Uh, we'll take two damage. One, two. Um, I forgot to test this on Diana. Uh, we are going at what? Five, five to four. We pass. Okay. Five to five on this one, um, which isn't the worst thing in the world either. We can throw this, uh, six to five. Okay. I fail by three. So we go one, two. Three. <laughs> Both of the weaknesses right there. Look at that. What a pro gamer thing to do. Failing a test. Uh, we did actually pass this one, but I suppose I didn't trigger it, so I'm not going to now. All right. Um, I think we do want to delve. Um, I think we do. A hex card. Uh, we take a damage from drawing a hex card as well. So that will kill um, Francis Morgan, probably. Yep. Okay. So Diana moves here. Um, maybe Tony goes first, actually. Yeah. 
we'll play this hired muscle and then we'll get rid of the chronophobia. Okay, so everything is as it should be. We are allowed to spend a resource to put uh, damage here, but or to heal the damage. We don't think we need to. All right, Diana moves. We play the Delve, because I would like to. And in player order, uh, that's fine, I think. Um, we can put some money into that. We can make this five to four. We can pass just pass a test. And then everything is direct. No. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. This is going to be a dark insight. Uh, so we pay two and shuffle this back in. Um, again, pretty sure that this counts. I don't have to, I don't have to cancel it entirely. I think so. I mean, we didn't resolve all the effects fully, but we did draw the card. So I think it counts, but you know, we'll see if it mattered in a second. We do want to get the clues. So we will try to do that with our last clairvoyance charge here. We have four, five, six, seven to four. And that's not perfect, but um, I, I think I need to do a little better than that. Let's see how much better we can do. I don't think I have anything. I do want to beat the minus four. So we are going to actually throw this out. So again, four plus four is eight minus one. I do get two cards. Okay. And two clues. That should be my whole turn. Okay. Upkeep. I will spend a resource. Okay. Three out of 10. Um, we can just put a doom on the agenda. I do have clues. I think we just cancel this. Spending a resource, getting a card and a resource, and taking a horror right there. Um, how do we get the last clues? How do we get the last clues? I'm at even, I mean, Tony can try. I was hoping to draw an enemy there. Tony can commit a bunch of stuff. Let's do that. Tony says I'm at seven to four. Correct. Tony says I'm at seven to four. Let's go nine to four. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right. Even if I didn't uh, cancel that with the dark insight, it would have been fine because that would have been direct horror. We didn't draw anything else that mattered unless there was a, a hex that we just drew. Um, what did we draw? An omen. No, we're fine. Well, that's it, I suppose. How did this never trigger? I mean, it, there was just the one test, right? The one test that could have happened. Uh, what a weird scenario. R1. So as this giant counter deck, I know there's like, there's the, this guy we didn't see. We did see the other ones in the discard pile. There wasn't any altered locations, unfortunately. Is this an altered location? No. It's literally just these. Just these two? Strange, strange scenario. I kind of wish it were better because it has... It's got a few things going for it. It's a little bit fun, but I think it has... Too much of like this opportunity to whiff. Okay, we will play the last scenario. Which I think is a really good one. 
and I'll see you then.